when a Yoruba man gives birth to a son and he's telling the son about the history of the Yoruba people, the first thing he's going to tell the son is that all the Benin Obas came from Yoruba land. To them is a big deal. To us is not a big deal. And to be frank and sincere, it's actually a big, a very big deal. Otherwise, if we don't nip it at this very board, a time will come, we certainly it will, if we don't change the narration, that your children, children, will agree to be subservient to the Yoruba people. A time will come where your children's children might rebel. Some are already rebelling against the palace of the Yoruba Abini because they will feel or think that it is true that the Yoruba of Benin came from the Yoruba land. So that is what propaganda and fallacy does to a people. So, we as a people must nip it at the board. Last year, April, Obayawai II Ogidigan paid a visit, uh, a post-coronation visit to the only of Ife. I was there. I went there. I went there a day earlier. Don't forget, I schooled at Ife. I know those people. So I went there a day earlier. We put the biggest banner waiting for the Oba. So Ife was shut down. And when you ask every Ife, sons and daughters, on the street of who is coming, they'll say their son is coming. So that means that they, to them, the Oba of Benin is a Yoruba man. That lie is imbued in the very spirit soul of every Ife man and woman. Eventually, Oba Wem came, came around about 2 p.m. I recorded everything. I wrote a book about it. I saw everything that happened. Only for me to read on Guardian newspapers, some of these newspapers controlled by the Yoruba people. And I also saw in channels, the channels broadcasted something live. A channel that is owned by an Edo man, an Edo not man, broadcasted that Oba Benin accompanied the only of Ife into Oru Oba Ado. We had chiefs, we had BTC secretaries, prominent Edo persons that went to the country. They all saw those news. None of them ever deemed it fit that Oge Nihi, Oge Na, Toros, Eh Oge. In the next 50 years, it is a video documentary that they must back on. That uh -huh, when it was reported that Obaye Wai the second accompanied Oni to where the heads of Ed the past obas were being buried in Ife. I told my mentor, Mr. Ikori Go Bobai, for now, Baba Iwarewa, in here in here in Ohani Yade. In here in Ohani Yade. I will poof the chronicle of everything that happened that day on paper. I actually put it on paper, six pages of everything that actually happened. How Oba sent Chief Olia and one other chief to accompany 
the chief priest near to on your fife into wherever and the Oba never stood, he never came down from his beautiful rose rice. And now the Yoruba are propagating that the Oba have been accompanying the only into the Oron Badu. I wrote all the same. Compiled it beautiful. But the problem was, we needed to put it in the same national daily newspapers that um, to counter the lies being spread on some of these Yoruba owned papers. Then we started looking for our elites, the House of Assembly, the House of Red, the Senators, to bring a common 300,000 or 350,000 to put it on a newspaper. What well, anybody can never hold me responsible in the, in the last three years that I've been trying, uh, that I have been trying to resuscitate the history of Benin is that I had asked anybody to give me money to spend on myself. Every single plead for financial support that I and my group or my group and I have asked for is to put a message across to people so that the younger generations in the future could listen to so along the line, none of the Edo persons brought money for we to put it on a national daily newspaper. For instead, we now have to put it on social media. I was compared to put it on Facebook. Got <laughs> 350,000, 300,000, 250,000. I am with being a your newspaper. But these are something that these people spend daily. That Oha, Oma, Ema Togi. No, no, kind of. This is what really transpired. The worry, I am you being. But if it was a burial ceremony, if it was birthday, frivolous activities, trivial matters, so I have completely, as a person, lost hope in our elites. When I want to do anything, a press conference we are holding next week, Saturday. We are holding that press conference without any support of our elites. They say ITV, BS, or AIT, my email, but we had to cover it. That would be our fourth press conference in the space of one year. No organization in the, in the, the past 50 years or 100 years of a do state, a social cultural organization, have been able to put four press conferences addressing four different issues. When Una de Kano last year was cutting some part of a dose part of delta and all we addressed it in a press conference dated november 5 2018. we did another press conference january 14th and when the whole of Gyame issue were ravaging with their useless ideas we did another press conference april 14th then this is our fourth press conference so press conferences are meant to challenge historical fallacies that beckons on the true existence of the people and that's why it is very foundational that by next week Saturday we are going to be addressing these issues and some of these issues that I'm, I'm trying to give an IQ so that people can I've told people that what interests me most is that if our people are not financially buoyant enough to support the cause of the reviving of our kingdom it's okay but when you see structured ideas on reviving share those videos okay share video there's a video that was that 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 is ravaging facebook on on an car you know someone that confessed to witchcraft those are the only things that interest us as a people. Uh, we should go beyond so trivial. So let me not get distracted. The Yoruba press is structured in a way to suppress the history of our people. It is only most fundamentally important that we must also structure our minds to counter them 
with superior facts, not insults. That last, the last video appeared. I said, I, I, there are no rooms to insult ourselves over things. The press conference is going to be devoid of insults. We are just going to tell them the truth and tell them that you buy is your bar, I do is I do. When you're discussing your bar matters. We don't have Obra Bini or the Do people does not have any similarities in all ramifications with the Yoruba. Take a do matter from your lips. And while I do I also discuss in the we don't usually discuss about them do. So we, we, we I mean minority man here. You hardly see any Yoruba person come online to talk history without having to mention the history of the Edo people. Are they minority man here? Then they should allow the minority like Edo people face their own minority business. This is what we want to beg them for. But we'll tell them the truth first too. That massive lies of war. Uh -huh. So they may hear the they may hear the they may Rome controlled to third of the entire world. The Roman Empire controlled almost more than half of the entire world. More than half of the entire world. But Rome is, is a smaller city than even Benin today. So whatever size that we are today does not change the fact that at one point in history, all these people that are now running the mat were one way or the other subservient to us. These are some of the foundational issues that we want to address with the press conference our size present size does not in any way connote past greatness um, so they said obas of benins were being buried in a place called Orobado. now the first foundational question as a learned benin man that you must ask them the yoruba calls a do Ado. The Yoruba calls Edo, Ado, and they said the place where the heads of the Obas were being buried is Oru Oba Ado. So, um, like I was saying, they propagated that. They propagated that the heads of the Obas, the heads of the Obas were being buried in Ife. And they called that place Oru Omba Ado. And they said that right from Oromia down to Obavorame, that is number one Oba, which is Oromia, to number 30. Let me count. This one is the 40th, 39, 38, 37. So from number one Oba to number 36 Oba, their heads were being buried in Ife. That's what the Yoruba said. First error. For that is this they call that place oru oba ado ado is a word the yoruba way of saying edo and many mati edo na yoruba inyati my do ado inyati my so the word edo was only introduced by oba ewa the first so oba ewa the first is the 13th oba of benin so that is from number one to number 12 when they were the obas of benin the land was not called edo it was ubini or igodomigodo everybody knows that story so that is error number one and they said that every oba of benin will be buried from number one to number 36 we have been buried in a place called oru oba ado where did they get the word ado from? I don't know whether you people understand the gist because the word ado was introduced by Obayewai the first, who is the 13th Oba of Benin. Point number one. So that means that story was conjured, was contorted. Okay, was contorted, was conjured, was contorted, was distorted by the Yoruba. That's point number one. All right. So I am not saying even if you are a Yoruba or you're not a Yoruba. Listen, 
what I'm, what I'm to beg you for is to listen with an open mind. And let me tell you why some of these things are not correct. We're conjured. We're conjured. We're not, are not true. So I've just given you fact number one. They called that place Oru Obado, and they said every Obar of Benin from number one to number 36, we have been buried there. And the word Ado, as a word, was introduced into the vocabulary as our land. By was introduced as the name, official name of our land, by Obaiwai the first. And Obaiwai the first, chronologically, is the thirteenth Obar of Benin. So that means the word Ado started from Obaiwai the first. So, and the Yoruba said that every Obar of Benin, right from Oromia down to Eweka. Sorry, or of Oram, we were all buried in Ife, and the place they were buried is all Romba Ado. And at the time when Ewedo, wife Yokun, likes of Urubiru, Ezoti, you know, no, 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 not Ezoti, Ezoti is the son of all the Obas before Ewa. At the time they were the kings in Benin, the land was not called Edo or Ado. So, this is first point number one that we must hold. As our historical shed one I hope we are feeling it if you don't still understand that point number one let me recap let me recap I, I tell you if you want to call through you can call in so that we can can make it very interacting that's point number one point number two they say every over of Benin from Obaromia down to by Ovoram and Obaisi that's not true because in Benin history five Obas were not buried in Benin five no let's just say six obviously of Oromia uh, uh, Oromia was not buried how are you there? obviously Oromia was not buried in Benin it seems Oromia at the end of the day when I'm done with this lecture Oromi is the only Oba of Benin that was buried in Ife. Every other Oba of Benin were all buried in Benin. At the end of the lecture, you will not deduce it. Now, in Benin, there, aside Oromia, there are five Obas that were not buried in Ogbe. That were not buried in Ogbe. I'm going to list them. Number one. Or by why the first nobody is buried in the old base soil other than the Obar of Benin. There are 37 exceptions to that to that to that to that law. There are 37. I want to prove it. 37. Oh Odubo in the time of or by Udai Bedu. The time of Udai Bedo that told the Oba that Yenga Wu, I must bury in Yenge Fe, I must bury in Yenge Ube. One way or the other, he was able to do it. He he started sinking, 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 and Amaya the corpse now disappeared. And eventually, Amaya no way, but he was buried. That was number one person that has been interned in Ube. Now, during when we lost our our sovereignty to the British. About 36 British people were buried in the back of Central Hospital, the great side of the era. That is 36 white people plus only one Benin man, Odogbo, that was buried in Ogbe. So, till date, ask if you are from Ogbe, nobody is being buried in Ogbe soil other than the Obar of Benin. Now, but there were five exceptions, five of the Oba that were not buried in Ogbe soil. Five. So, don't forget, the Yoruba said from number one to number 36 Oba, that is Oba of Oram, were all buried. Their heads were being buried in Ife. 
Number one, Oba that was not buried in Ogwe soil. Obai Wai the first. Before he died, he put a law. I had buried in a where he no burying no what. His his maternal grandfather also can't really remember, but I think his maternal grand something. A woni at a C. E S S I. Wag be the upper C local. Anna Sevoni A C. At a S A E C A C. E S S I. Obaiwai the first left that law. Ona mi yega wu. I bury where that is maternal grandfather so is it his grave side yard is still there I the grave site is still there till date is okay listen so that you don't you, you are completely ignorant of truth so you listen so that you can learn if what they are saying is true you listen you listen to one side you listen to the other side. i know you already have a premeditated hatred for the benin people but however an educated person will listen to both sides of the story so obai why the first is interned in ac till date it's great child studio the second exception is a hen buddha nobu on his way to a co his sheep drowned our corner like i capsized all right so uh that is that is exception number two exception number three of ba ahe ba ye Oba ahe ba ye Oba ahe ba ye Oba ahe ba ye Was so greedy Was so greedy That the Benins had to deceive him Out of Benin kingdom To his Matana village Igosa Where he eventually died And was buried So the lineage of that Oba ahe ba ye I mean, there's a lineage in Igosa community. Igosa community is just after my community. They are the priests of Ezigbaron. Igbaron River, it's what people now call Jemisi. On Igbaron. They are the priests of Igbaron River. Because of his high parsimony, the Benichis deceived him. Out. He died in Igosa. I was buried. The last one. Okay, I actually said five of them. No, it's not five. It's four of them that was not buried in Ogbe soil. The, the last one was Oba Ovora Menok Baisi. Oba Ovora Menok Baisi, that was deposed to Calabar, died there. I was buried there. The grave site is still there. In one, in one of these lectures, I will show you the grave site. How I snapped. I had snapped it recently. It's still there to date. Why are you guy there? Why are you guy there? So these are the only four exceptions. To the law that I go above you be. So the Benins knows where their obas were being buried, and no number were buried headless. So where did the Yoruba now said Aruomba Ado is a place for the burial ground of the obas of Benin? This is a point. This is a point. This is a point. Point number three. I ain't in a, We know where all our bars have been intent. And certainly if is not part of it. Number three. For those who don't believe in oral account that uh, okay, this is believe version. 
make we listen to Yoruba version. Let me give you point number three. This point number three is scientific. The Benin school would have gone and bribed a French archaeologist called Leo Febanos who excavated at about the time Conan Graham did excavation, archaeological excavation in Benin City. One of the French archaeologists called Leo Febanios did another, also did an archaeological excavation in Ife. And one of the first place he did his archaeological excavation is at that place the Yorubas called Oru Oba Ado. That same place. And guess what? You know what you discovered there? They can have a better woman when you excavate it. Are you know, aren't you supposed to see skull? But you didn't see. You didn't see any anything that is human. You only saw mutton, broken pots, dated fourth to fifth century. And don't forget, the Benin Ife relation just started in about 10th century. So what Leo Febano saw there were all less than 10th century. Some were dated 9th century, some were dated 8th century, some were dated 5th century. So that is a scientific excavation, not done by a Benin man now, it was done by a French archaeologist. Okay, was done by a French archaeologist, and what was discovered there was molten materials, morpha materials, broken materials that is dated back to centuries before even the Benin ever had anything to do with effect. So I've given three fundamental facts that justify the fact that. If you, and again, you ask, how, if you are trekking, estimated, you know, a scientist, we have to start thinking like scientists. If you are to trek in a dense rainforest, like the way Edo was, we are talking about 800 years ago, 700 years ago, it will take you an average of about seven to ten weeks for you to trek from Benin to Ife. How were the heads of these kings, purported kings, if you bow our very here, Ife, how were their heads preserved? As at that time, they were no efficient way of preservation of human body parts. These are scientific questions that must be answered scientifically. Mary Biakania, I am not her. But the my, I don't want to, I don't want to give you all the facts, all of you all the facts today because the press conference is wrong. Mm -hmm. So by Saturday, I'm going to. To where my my historical life started, Institute for Business Studies, to spend the f spend three days there to dig out more fat. But we are going to be giving fat. We are not going to be talking nonsense. We are not going to be say oh, be fair people. Be fair people are stupid. Be fair people are mad. We're going to be dig we're just going to be bringing facts, verifiable anywhere you want to take those facts. So it's all about facts, and that's exactly what we want to do with the press conference. Understand so. Uh, I will help you to share your life, life story. No, the point, the only f issue I have with all these people, all this Ogiamie, whatever they call this Robinson Joe, the only problem I have with you people is that. So even write common English, when I know we feel right, 
Is that how you want to defend your knowledge? What is the lay story? Like, I don't know take men and my member respect and say. That's the common issues. Why is it that the only people supporting those set of Facebook wannabes, they are the most uneducated, the most uncivilized, the most... I, I, most of them doesn't even have KG1 results. They, they are the worst set of Benin people. Frustrated set of Benin people. They are just, have you ever seen any academician coming online to support these people? No, you don't see any of this person. Have you ever seen any educated, enlightened persons coming to support this person? They don't. Why is it that have a money quangma never do? Ni frustrating, ne, ne. Now, I'm going to support the guys, and even their front runner. I'm going to support the guys. You know, I'm get as a B. Well, you know that the educated Benin people are not kicking against the Kaladeran story. But the most uneducated, the most uncivilized. So, that should tell you, some of you. Nay, that doesn't really know. No my honey, that should tell you that a can uh, the most uncivilized, uneducated people, a Kenya baby. Then you don't see on an obvious school here. We are no, we are defending ya at all. That should tell you that there's something wrong somewhere. No, 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 no. I'm always saying that there are, there are reason of connections. There are reason of connections. I'm just saying, Esther D. D. Lewis, there are reason of connections. There are connections between Yorubas and Benins. And we're going to establish the connection. It's Oduduwa. They try to make you believe it's Oromia. Oromia is not a connection between the Edo and, and the Ife people, or the Benin and the Ife people. The connection between the Benin and the Ife people is Oduduwa. It's not Oromia. So that's why you, you, you see, it's a common fact. You don't talk about a son and not talk about his father. See, it's a common sense. The Yorubas are trying to tell us, they're trying to keep hammering on Oromia. You cannot talk about a son's history and not talk about his father or his grandfather's history. The Yorubas have come out to tell the Benin people that Oromia, they gave us Oromia, or that Oromia conquered the Benin people. Whichever way, because every history about them tends to have two sides. They don't have a straightforward history. Just like Oduduwa, you see that he fell from sky, he came from Mecca. Uh, uh, um, 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 that Oduduwa came from the sky. Uh, 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 Oduduwa came from the sky. Oduduwa came from um, uh, came from Mecca. Oduduwa is the son of Lamorudu. They tend to have different side of story, different different history for one person. Hmm? Now, there are no straightforward. Benin does not have. Benin only have one history for a Kaladera. One. Opaeno, Ohakba, Edome, Nayate, Mini Kaladera, ya dear, Ohagi Kaladera, Opaeno, but Ohago Dudua, a how a neno, Oromia, a vow or a hano. So it gives room to challenge the authenticity of their history because. It is not always one-sided, or it is not always uh, unilateral historical narration, but always bilateral, or even multilateral. So, for those who feel that Oromia was the grandson of Oduduwa, some also feel that Oromia was the son of Oduduwa. So, a uh, European were confusing man historically. So, assuming. I mean, he ended it, Oromia was the grandson, son, assuming that Oromia is the son of Oduduwa. The Yorubas at all times want us to feel that Oromia is the most important factor 
as a connection between the beginnings and the Yoruba. No, 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 no. The most important factor is Oduduwa. You don't talk about the history of the son. I don't talk about the history of the father. They said that at one point in time, Bini had no king. And when Bini had no king, they decided to send a king to rule over us. And the king came and started killing people, Oromi Anna. Killing people, and he now forced himself as a king. Anyway, I'm going to fight that now. Another story, another version says that there was a time Bini people had no king, or Igodomigodo had no king. So the elders of Igodomigodo went to Ife to ask them for a king. Abi? To ask them for a king. To ask them for a king. But the point is, ah, uh, Bella Essie. <laughs> Stop la. Only I'm gonna to your. We all ready know the truth. Okay, you that already know the truth, clap for yourself, Bella Essie. Now that you know the truth, can we not have peace on my platform? All right. No, 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 no. Your opinion. Sorry, call came true. Your opinion can't, but please don't insult anybody here. Please don't insult anybody here. Sorry, the king did not have family. Uh, 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 so, um, don't insult anybody because I can actually block you if I want to, but let them speak their opinion. But I, I don't have time blocking anybody. Your opinion can't. But the, the point is this. The point is this. The point is this. When, um, um, how am I going to put it? They are divergent views. They make us feel I'm not in prison at Patosa. Like I keep saying, why is it that the worst set of Benin people are the ones supporting this Yaogi? I mean, look at this one. Huh? I'm not in prison. I mean, you are supposed to. Um, I'm not in prison. I'm not in prison, Lao. <laughs> um, he said, well, "What about what he said?" <laughs> I was about to. What was I supposed to say? <sighs> yeah, I wasn't distracted. It was just funny. Say he. he um, um, the story you're saying is fake, but I like you in prison. Uh, okay. Now, every single story that the Yorubas tells us is in two folds. They said um, uh, um, he brought war. Um, he uh, uh, he brought war, and he was uh, he brought war to fight the Edo people. That's number one. Secondly, that we went to request for a king from them. Beautiful, beautiful. Two sides of the story. Am I a high yeah, you are. But the foundational thing that we should know. Is that you don't talk about the history of a son. I don't talk about his father. The relationship between the Benins and the Yorubas is a Duduwa, not a Romia. And the, the Yorubas are trying to cut a Duduwa off. I don't talk about a Romia. And then if you have those Zose, I will get a man in a day. So if you have a man in a one of the family of a man people Zose. Even in communal settings, they do. When making a view, do the archival. 
or, or John Wei or Inugi. We are not even talking about the Oba now. So the point is, how can a people who have had 31 Ogisos, obviously a lot of them will agree, but had 31 Ogisos that has reigned for a period of about 854 years. So they, they have undergone so much civilization. How old is Nigeria? Nigeria is about 60 Abi or 60 something. We are talking about a country that was that has been existing a recognized leader, a country with a, a structured leadership for 854 years will now go to a, a village if you have not been to Ife, if I'm in high school <laughs> Ife is still a village, I was in Ife last week Ife, uh, uh, Idogbo develops Ife till date Idogbo, I don't even say Idogbo Kwera Ogwene so a people that has undergo we are talking about ile ife present when you the bus or even i'm sorry well now we are not talking about 1000 years ago what ife would have been like so people who have been existing who have had a structured leadership for a period of 854 years will now go to a people near where Ni my what ye a king ye ni ni that does not understand what leadership is all about to go and remove a foreigner or you want to rule over them. This question of it's just like America has gotten their independence in 1776. Nigeria got theirs in 1960. Then at one point in time, there was a vacuum of leadership in the presidency of America. As civilized and as America, they will now come to an uncivilized Nigeria to not pick a Nigerian to come and become a president over a structured, organized government system. Democratic, Kali elected government system of the United States of America for a Nigerian to govern. A Nigerian in my mind who still do not know that our government do not know left and right it's not even close in comparison to what if it was to be in at that time but at least it, 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 it's to an extent is moderate so it's, it's saying in real essence that american who have, who have been civilized for about 200 years plus before us nigerians got their independence in 1960 at one point in time when there was no leadership when there was a leadership vacuum in America presidency and they are not coming to Nigeria to come and pick you, know. you understand will not come and pick all right will not come and pick a president from Nigeria to govern so I will not come and pick a president to govern. It's almost the same thing. That is structured people. It's a common sense. I'm tabling the matter in the minds of logic. In the hands of logic. That Emma nominated. That have had 31 kings. You know, they have had 31 kings. Kings. That has reigned for a period of 854 years that have reigned for a period of 854 years we now go to Ife at the time Benin went to Ife Ife had no king Oduduwa is the first king of Ife and that was about the time the Benin went to Ife so the people who have had king had had a structured monarch for a period of 854 years will 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 now go to a people that had no king or batalas are priests they are not kings the first king of ifes oduduwa not uh, they are trying to make you believe the whole of or batalas were not king these are falsification of history or batalas were not kings the first king of ifes oduduwa uh, Bella Essie, if you ever 
show me a place where the upper of Benin said he came from Ile Ife. That upper of Benin, upper of Benin has said that he came from Ile Ife. I know you want to point to the coronation speech, October 20th, 2016, where the upper said that he's a direct descendant of a Romanian. <laughs> but <laughs> you only just i know what you guys did in that video you you just cut that part and put it into the public but you didn't finish it Oba finally said that a oromia was a, was a son to oduduwa who the benins of that era knew as a kaladera so the point is this it doesn't matter whether Oromia came from Ife or not. But what matter is where did Oromia's father or grandfather came from? That is what the Yorubas are not trying to tell you. They are trying to feel that the connection between the Benins and the Ife is Oromia. No, no, no. Capita rejecta meta. <laughs> the connection between Ife and Benin is Oduduwa and not Oromia. Oromia is only a product of the connection. That was there between the Benins and Ife. And who is Oduduwa? <laughs> Till date, you <laughs> They all agree, all Yoruba historians agreed that Oduduwa is a foreigner in Yoruba land. When you come to a place and meet aboriginals, you are no longer. An aborigin of that place. Oduduwa came to meet people. It took 16 years before Oduduwa was able to master the Yoruba language. There are 16, no, sorry, 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 not 16. There are 31 communities that make up Ileife. None of the community from the Tani Ake have been able to come out publicly to claim that Oduduwa came from any of these 31 communities that makes Ileife. I don't want to unveil. I don't want to unveil some of the facts we are going to use in hammering Yoruba in the in next week's Saturday press conference. But let me leave you people with this. August, August 26, 1990. August 26, 1990. The only before this only. Make another verse. Call came. Call came true. Let me knock this as my as my summary. Yeah, what you know more log be. You can you can go and look for that magazine if I am lying. That's why I'm giving you the actual date. On the very day of our press conference, we are going to put it on the camera so that the camera can see. It is the name of the magazine is called Lagos Weekend Newspaper, dated August 26, 19. 1990 1990 August 26 1990 1990 August 26 1990 Saudi Arabia is from Saudi Arabia why why is he not a Muslim all names of Ife are not Muslim so Duduwa is not a Muslim he's a traditionalist and Benin's are traditionalists so do I how can he be a maker a research was done, was carried. They went to trace Lamorudu in Mecca. And there was no such record of Lamorudu ever having a son called Oduduwa. Anyway. Uh, let, me, let me quickly knock this. Let me quickly knock this. Olojo Festival. For some of you who do not know what Olojo Festival is, I will explain. Olojo Festival is also like Agwe. It is a festival of seclusion. Every one must be secluded from every populace. I think for seven days. At that time, they are pure. Their mind is clean. So whatever they utter is truth. So the day on this studio, that write it. Thank you, my my sister. Twenty sixth of August, nineteen ninety. Go and look for the name of that magazine. It's called Lagos Weekend Newspaper. We have it. We are going to we we'll publish it. Doing our press conference next week, Saturday. <laughs> a full video on the previous one. Now, we're going to publish it so that the people can see. Oh, on this to do what they said, and I quote. He said, 
the founders of Ife, founders of Ife. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Calls are coming through and it's disturbing my. He said the founders of Ife made it mandatory that when the Oni is to visit the Oba of Benin, he must kill seven black cows. Hey, the Yorubas will not say this. <laughs> and when the Oba of is on a traditional visit to Ife, Oni must kill two black cows. Thank God I was in Ife last last year when the Oba visited. Oh, they killed two black cows. Now, the question you must ask is that, he said the founders of Ife made it compulsory that when the owner needs to visit the Oba Abinin, he must, not the Oba now, not the Oba Abinin, kill him. Cows to receive the owner. So the owner must sacrifice seven black cows. And when the Oba himself is to visit the only on the traditional the only himself must also sacrifice two black cows what does that tell you that means the founders of Ife understand prioritize Benin more than Ife that is why they say kill seven black cows when you go to Benin kill two black cows when it's coming to Benin so the question is who are the founders of Ife who left that message to every only of Ife that it must be mandatory I am not the one saying this. August 26, 1990, it was published. It was what Oni Sijuwadi told the journalist. Unknowingly, he confessed. So who are these founders of Ife? I'm sure that a lot of persons are shocked. But anyway, if you spend 10 hours, any of you that are supporting Ogami, if you spend 10 hours with me, I would have been able to purge your brain with the lies they have fed you, then pull, pull the truth. Yes, you did. <laughs> a time will come, they will start telling us that the Adan Eben is also Yoruba Nagata. That one is a simple thing, eh? Why? Oh, well, why? Oh, well, why? It has cooled down. Does that one have anything? No, 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 no. What is it doing in Ife? Didn't the Oba have visit Sultan of Sokoto? Didn't the Oba have visit the Olua Wari? Let me, let me, let me, let me historically, let me historically remind you because at that time when it happened, I might quit be one a boom. You understand? I might quit be one a boom. Now, understand this clearly. In 1980, shortly after our buried, I was coronated in 1979. It went on a thank you coronation visitation. At that time, Nigeria was 18 states. We are not 36 states. It was 18 states. All right? 5th of November, he visited Ife. So the trip took him from 1st of November, sorry, from, from 30th, 30th, of, 30th of October to 1st of December. The trip took him one month. He was on the road constantly where he visited every state they are monarchs, they are, they are governmental herd. It is dumb. Akenswa also did the same. So it was not only the only, only of Ife was visited on the 5th of November. On the 9th of November, 1980, Alavin of Oyo was visited. On the 15th of November, 1980, the Sultan of Sokoto was visited. So every first class kings were all visited and not just only the only of Ife. So the first king. Oba Abini, the president of Abini visited was not only of Ife, it was Sultan of Sokoto. They visited only of Ife, then obviously he went to see his son, Oluwari, who said categorically that welcome home, Papa, that worry is an extension of Benin Kingdom. Everybody knows that story. So, just like the way Benin gave a king to civilize the Shekiri people of Wari. That's the same thing we did to Ife. We gave them our son a color there and that civilized them. The Wari people agrees to that. They don't deny it. So also other ethnic groups that, that beckon their root to Benin ancestry agrees to the founding of Benin princes like Onicha, 
go to Ikweri, go to we have been to those places and we can assert these claims explicitly. I went to February 1st to February 2nd. I was in Ghana, I was in Accra. Where the guy manche, the overall king of Accra, had to assert that they came from Obeni, which is Benin. So we have the video well documented. So of all ancestries, those people that traces their ancestries to Benin, it's only the Ife people that have been ungrateful. And with the press conference next week, we are going to tell them how ungrateful they are. That in Abima say, if not the Kaladin or Duduwa, Yoruba would have been would have been worse off than uh, uh, yeah, worse off than the worst tribe in Nigeria, the most uncivilized tribe in Nigeria. But we must let them know Yang Bima Yase. I will give them our son that civilized them yet. They want to tell. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to deeply, I want to deeply appreciate all of you for um uh for um for the time spent here. I'm, I'm grateful for listening. Uh I didn't know I was gonna spend this long at all. I didn't know I was gonna spend this long at all. I spent about three hours talking. Uh -huh. I spent three hours talking. Uh, uh, we'll continually, we'll continually, we'll continually be unmasking their lies. And I look forward to a day when any of these people will do a live broadcast face to face anywhere in Nigeria. Since I never, uh, when God blesses me. I most likely will do a European tour 2020 next year. Most likely I want to do a European tour so that I can bring the Benin history in the real sense to all of you. But before then, that you choose any place in Nigeria. You understand? So, uh, why I want I want to thank I want to let me quickly address that one. The word Benin is not from Ile Binu. If that's what you want to ask, those are childish questions. We have addressed this severally. The word Benin is not from Ile Binu. The word Benin is from a word called Ubini. And Ubini was already in existence even before Igodomi Godo. Ubini means a place of heavenly pageantry. Pageantry. Ubini no bevo. Ubini was a name that the, the two remaining sons of Paidu named this land, Afa and Emehi. Go to Mission Road, you see, see the houses of Efa and Emehi. My brother, that day I'm going, to, I'm going to mess you up. You will no longer be having the leverage. Murphy, I'm talking to you. You will no longer be having the leverage of lying to the public. After messing up with fat, it is a buy your own home, not to see me. It is a your own After messing up with fat, so that people didn't say I'm rascal, they can mess you up with fat. They will just start sanding you. You are the bad lolo for being a modern. You understand? You are the bad lolo is my. You may agree. You may mess you up with fat. Boy, boy, by Mm-hmm. So that's my wish for you, my brother. I'm going to mess you up with fat. I'm telling you. 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 I'm telling